632 top story this morning. More on this melee. Check out this scene yesterday afternoon. Kennedy Plaza, downtown Providence police having to use pepper spray to calm down and tame that crowd. Several teenagers were arrested. Two adults were taken into custody too. 12 News reporter Erica Ritchie is live in the studio now, and this is the second day something like this has happened in Kennedy Plaza, Erica. Yeah, Kate, that's right. On Monday afternoon, an officer was injured after a fight broke out among teenagers at the bus station. Yesterday, it was a teenager that was hurt in the brawl, and five others were arrested in connection with it. An unbelievable scene for those who witnessed it. I had a lot of anxiety. I was really nervous, so, you know, I just felt kind of scared a little bit. There was like 40 cop cars, and uh, there was people punching each other. There was a lot of fights breaking out, and uh, they were spraying uh, pepper uh, gas at everybody. All right, so this is what Elizabeth Santos saw, this disturbance at Kennedy Plaza playing out around 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon right after school got out. It was a group of high schoolers police were trying to break up. We asked the school department about whether the school release times could have been a factor in the convergence on Kennedy Plaza. Department spokesperson Victor Morenti does confirm that all middle and high schools in the capital city do get out at 3 p.m. with the exception of Classical High School, which releases about 20 minutes earlier. And while this is different from the recent staggered release, he says that was only a pandemic move. He went on to say, quote, it is also worth noting that it is not just PPSD students who utilize ripped transportation to get to school and to return home. The five teenagers who were arrested facing a variety of charges, those two adults charged with disorderly conduct. Live in studio, Erica Ritchie, 12 News.